delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. From the music capital of the Philippines, advancing in the challenge of distance learning. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is DepEd TV. Tarana! Good day, grade 11 students! We are here again for the new episode of Lantau Compre featuring Earth and Life Science. I am your teacher, Teacher Ronel T. Reveta. Are you ready to rock and roll? Let's start! Welcome to the Earth and Life Science Grade 11 Alternative Delivery Mode module on Ignis Rocks. How are they formed? After going through this module, you are expected to compare and contrast the formation of different types of igneous rocks, distinguish intrusive from extrusive igneous rocks, differentiate the different textures of igneous rocks. Before we head on to our lesson, you will answer a pre-test. Don't worry, your scores will not be recorded. This is just to check how far have you gone in our lesson today. Here's the instructions. Choose the letter that bears the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Do not leave any item unanswered. You have 5 seconds for every item to answer. Did I make myself clear? If so, let's start! Number 1. What classification of rocks is formed from solidification and crystallization of molten rocks? A. Igneous rocks B. Metamorphic rocks C. Sedimentary rocks D. All of the above The correct answer is letter A. Igneous rocks. Number two, which type of igneous rocks based on composition has the highest level amount of silica content? A. Felsic, B. Intermediate, C. Mafic, D. Ultramafic. The correct answer is letter A. Felsic. Number 3. Which of the following is not an exclusive igneous rock? A. Basalt B. Granite C. Obsidian D. Rhyolite The correct answer is letter B. Granite Number 4. Which type of igneous rocks forms from lava on Earth's surface? A. Plastic B. Extrusive C. Intrusive D. Non-plastic 
The correct answer is letter B. Exclusive. Number 5. Which of the following is not an intrusive igneous rock? A. Diorite B. Gabbro C. Granite D. Obsidian The correct answer is letter D. Obsidian Who got a perfect score? Don't you worry, because you are just melting up the rock. Once again, welcome to Earth and Life Science for Igneous Rocks. How are they formed? What are Igneous Rocks? Igneous Rocks are one of the three major categories of rocks. The word Igneous is derived from the Latin word fire. Igneous or Ignus. These rocks are commonly found in the surface and beneath the earth, specifically in divergent boundaries, convergent boundaries, subduction zones, and hotspots. Not all igneous rocks have the same physical and chemical characteristics. They differ in the origin, process of formation, color, density, size of grains, crystals, and many more. How are the igneous rocks formed? Igneous rocks are formed through the process of solidification and crystallization of molten rocks, magma, and lava. When hot, molten rocks reach to the surface of the earth, they undergo changes in temperature and pressure, causing them to cool, solidify, and crystallize. Moreover, there are also solidification and crystallization magma beneath the earth. What are the types of igneous rocks based on their formation? In terms, igneous rocks can be classified into two, intrusive and extrusive rocks. On the table being shown on the screen shows the differences between intrusive and extrusive rocks. Intrusive rocks or platonic rocks can be found beneath the earth. The process of formation is platonic, formed from magma. It is usually dark in color and usually dense. The composition is magnesium and iron and it cools slowly. It has a large and coarse grains and it is large crystals. While the extrusive rocks or volcanic rocks comes from the surface of the earth, the process of formation is volcanic formed from lava. It is usually light colored and is usually low density. The composition is feldspar or aluminum and it cools quickly. These are examples of intrusive rocks. We have the gabbro, diorite, and granite. And these are the examples of extrusive rocks. We have basalt, obsidian, rhyolite, and scoria. Igneous rocks can also be classified according to the composition. They are composed of silicon dioxide or silica. Not all igneous rocks have the same silica content. If there is oversaturation of silica in the magma, its minerals will precipitate. On the other hand, if there is undersaturation of silica in the magma, its minerals will not precipitate and will not be present in the igneous rocks. The viscosity of magma is also affected because of silica content. There are four classifications of igneous rocks based on silica content. Ultramafic, mafic, intermediate, 
and Filsic. The ultramafic igneous rocks have very low silica content, less than 45% of silicon dioxide. Before forming into igneous rocks, its magma has very low viscosity. Its color is ranged to black to olive green. Their density is very high. They are rich in pyroxene and olivine minerals. Examples of these rocks are peridotite and dunite. Mafic igneous rocks have a low silica content, 45 to 52% of silicon dioxide. Before forming into igneous rocks, its magma has low viscosity, more viscous than ultramafic magma. They have black color. Their density is high. They are composed of pyroxene, calcium-rich, plagioclase, feldspar. Examples of these rocks are gabbro and basalt. Intermediate igneous rocks have a high silica content, 53 to 65% of silicon dioxide. Before forming into igneous rocks, its magma has intermediate viscosity, more viscous than the mafic magma. Their color is gray, their density is intermediate, and they are composed of biotite, alkali feldspar, and quartz. Examples of these rocks are diorite and andesite. Felsic igneous rocks have a very high silica content, more than 65% of silicon dioxide. Before forming into igneous rocks, its magma has high viscosity more viscous than the intermediate magma. They have light color. Their density is very low. They are composed of quartz and alkali feldspar. Examples of these rocks are granite and rhyolite. Based on the illustration, you will notice the differences of these four classifications of igneous rocks in terms of their color. Ultramafic has the darkest color and felsic has the lightest color. To some, the higher the silica content is, the lighter its color, while the lower the silica content is, the darker its color. Thus, amount of silica affects the color of the rocks. This is another illustration showing the differences of ultramafic, mafic, intermediate, and felsic igneous rocks. Rock types, kind, and percentage of minerals, percentage of silica content, and ranges of temperature. Felsic has the highest silica content, while the ultramafic has the lowest silica content. On the other hand, felsic is exposed to 700 degrees Celsius and ultramafic is exposed to 1,200 degrees Celsius. It means when igneous rock is exposed to extreme high temperature, its color is darker, while if it is exposed to lower temperature, its color is light. What are the types of igneous rocks based on texture? Igneous rocks have different textures. Texture of a rock is the size and arrangement of the minerals it contains. The phaneritic texture have a large minerals. The aphanitic texture have mineral grains that are too small. The vesicular texture have many pits from gas escape. The porphyritic texture have two distinct grain sizes, large and small. Lastly, is the glassy texture, which have obvious minerals like the obsidian rock. We have already compared the formation of different types of rocks, distinguish intrusive and extrusive rocks, differentiate igneous rocks based on silica, and differentiate 
the different textures of igneous rocks. Now, kindly get your notebook for a quiz. Choose the letter of the correct answer. You have 5 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. What Latin word was the term of igneous derived from? A. Ignus B. Litus C. Meta D. Sidere The correct answer is letter A. Ignus Question number 2 Which of the following is not an exclusive igneous rock? A. Basalt B. Granite C. Obsidian D. Rhyolite The correct answer is letter B. Granite Question number 3 How are the igneous rocks classified based on their origin? A. Large or small crystals B. Plutonic and volcanic C. Cores or fine grains D. From magma or lava The correct answer is letter D. From magma or lava Question number 4 Which of the following is true about intrusive rocks? A. They have fine grains B. They are usually dark C. They are formed from lava D. They have usually low density. The correct answer is letter B. They are usually dark. Question number 5. What type of igneous rocks texture has large minerals? A. Aphanetic B. Glassy C. Phaneritic D. Vesicular The correct answer is letter C. Phaneritic Have you answered all questions correctly? If so, good job! For your additional activity, kindly answer all the activities being lined up on pages 10 to 13 in your module. Put your answer on a different answer sheet. We will be collecting all your answer sheets by the end of the week. Another session has again ended. I hope you learned a lot from today's lesson. Igneous rocks, how are they formed? See you all in the next episode of our TV School on Air. Once again, this is Teacher Ronel T. Rivetta saying, Rocks are not lifeless. They resonate with a memory that is the very essence of life itself. <music>